Some people have what it takes to be game hunters, and some people do not. Cruising for games! <laughs> hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Oh, I do this thing. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we have been cruising for games and toys and whatever else we could find. Comic books! Oh my gosh, just wait. So, uh, there was a weekend sale at vintage stock stores. And you know how much we love those. Buy oh, one, get one free comic books. We, uh, we must have loved them because how many did we hit? Uh, four. Like we always do. We always hit four. The two in Joplin and the two in Springfield. So, uh, we did have Music Man, hey, dude, Peter we'll Long for the ride. Oh, hey everybody. I got glasses. Move on. Okay. Or, or talk about it in the comments below. <laughs> you guys like my glasses? Does he look even more of a nerd? Yeah, do I look more should, nerdy? Should we always make him put that white tape in the middle of it? No, that's I, nice. I'm very much a Clark Kent with these glasses. But I know you're Peter. That was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the very first vintage stock, uh, we actually got there a little bit early, the two of us. Yes. So Peter was not there with us for that one. True story. But we kept him in our hearts and our minds with the stuff we picked up. I didn't. I just got stuff I liked. Nice. <laughs> I picked up Cappy, or that one. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! I found me Cappy, and I thought he was adorable. He's got his little eyes and his little hair, and he's a plushie. So yeah. Nice. Nice. Can you uh, possess anyone with him? I don't know. Why are you trying to possess me? <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> this is the first thing that came to mind. Ow. <laughs> you must do my bidding. Anyways. <laughs> and you also and got... I got a really cool chick from Final Fantasy XIII. And what is her name? Um... Arakari Kamanahama. It is... And he just summoned demons. He just did. Her name is... Ar I apologize. Aruba That's not her name. Yung Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Aruba Yung Fang. Yun Fang. Yun Fang. Yeah. So anyway. She's a witch doctor from the Caribbean. <laughs> so you picked her up just because she looked I thought cool, she right? looked really cool. We were pretty sure we, she was from Final Fantasy, but sh we didn't know who she was. <laughs> but I just really liked her. She's a rather large figure. I don't have too many figures like this, but she's got a lot of articulation. Uh, one that I find odd that I've never seen in a toy before, her foot rotates this away. Oh, that, yeah, that's weird. It's yeah. like, crack your ankles! Jeez. Not A lot of times you'll see, like, the toes will bend, but I've never seen them do that, but her ankles bend all the way around, knees, wrists, elbows, armies, head, kind of, that hair gets in the way a bit, but, uh, yeah, she's really cool and she comes with a big old, big old staff. There is one more point of articulation, and she's sassy as all get out. It's at the yes. hip. So nice. sassy. I will say, um, Matt Kitley on Facebook was the one who was kind enough to let us know who she was. So thank you, Matt. Thanks, Matt! Now, some Final <laughs> Fantasy characters that I picked up that we knew were... Sephiroth, Sephiroth, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Sephiroth, Sephiroth. And a very, uh, drunk and leaning yeah. Yuna. Well, she's just like, I love you, Sephiroth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently she doesn't know what happens to religious girls who hang out with Sephiroth. We don't talk about that, though, that you know. <laughs> But, but it wasn't all toys, because I did manage to pick up some games, since when Vintage Stock has sales, they do buy two, get one free. Mix and match! I picked up Gungrave for the PS2. <laughs> so, uh, now you're in your grave. Is, oh. That's it. Guns and graves. <laughs> so a nice little uh, shooter game. And then I also got a couple of Super Nintendo titles. I got Battle Blaze. Honestly, just because of that cover. I have you that. never played it? I have not. Oh my gosh! I've played a game Tom hasn't played. Guys, Battle Blaze is the worst Mortal Kombat ripoff. It is, uh, you are fighting in a gladiator style battle, and you, you're supposed to use weapons, but the controls are really clunky and the animation's really bad, and the storyline does not make sense. That's Battle Blaze. 
Play well, it. Honestly. Well, sounds like it's a good thing I bought it just for the cover. I know. <laughs> Battle Blaze to me looks like a uh, like a ripoff of uh, Golden Axe. Yeah, that's what we thought it was going to be, like a, a side-scrolling, running, shoot 'em up uh, when I got it from when I was a kid, but it turns out it's just a fighting game. Uh -huh. And it's disappointing, <laughs> just like that comment. Okay. Now, uh, a game that I picked up, I went off video game price chart, and they had this price that I think it was a quarter of what price charter had it. Lethal At Enforcers for Super Nintendo. Uh, the only problem is, I do not think I have the gun for the Super Nintendo. Aww. We've got two of the Sega ones. But, uh, so, yeah, that's what we got from the first vintage stock. And we also picked up Peter at that point. We that's did. true. We I did. did join you at that point. Yep. So, he was. we didn't get any buy one, get one free on that, though. No. Well, <laughs> you got me and Sarah came But along. where was our free one? My wife was at home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guess what, nerdlings? Guess who's cruising for games? It's me. It's Peter. It's Lacey. It's PT cruising with a little TLC. And it's Sarah. Cruising for games. PTSL. Yeah. PTLS. PT cruising with a little TLC. No, no, it's the PTLS, the PT Luxury Series. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's good. So where are we going? Pretty young things. What? Well, we're going to Joplin, to the giant vintage stock. It's like this big. For it's bigger than that. Buy one, get one free comics. Buy two, get one free on all media. And 33% off, off used games. Or toys. toys. So the first place that we went in Joplin was the smaller vintage yeah. stock. We always like to go there first because they have, I feel like they have a better toy selection. I usually always have a better think, luck with the toys there. I but, think so, yeah. yeah. We did find a few things there. Uh, this was Peter's first time being at this store. Right, that was my first adventure at the small vintage stock. So what did you think of, uh, of their pricing? Either vintage stock in general or the Joplin one? Vintage stock in general has decent prices, but a lot of it I'm always like, do I really want to pay $10 for that Nintendo 64 sports game? I do not. Now this is pod racing. You know it. This is when he learned why we only go to vintage stock when they have their sales. Because exactly. then it makes things affordable. Exactly. <laughs> I picked up three more games there. Another Super Nintendo one, Out to Lunch, because, uh, yeah. Because we were hungry. Out to Lunch. That's, <laughs> I think I was thinking about lunch at that point. I don't even remember what this one looked like. Um, you know, to Ooh, me... he's it, uh, serving up food with eyeballs. It kind of looks like someone wanted you. to make their own version of Burger Time. Yeah. Uh, but didn't do as good a job. <laughs> or might be, I don't know, not played it. I, don't, I shouldn't knock it. And then I picked up a Dreamcast game just for her. Because I love my Qbert! Um, that was my Qbert. Language? <laughs> Do you Eat kiss your, your Q mother with that mouth? I'm sorry. <laughs> I did want to point out that uh, something curious about this is a lot of times vintage stock stores, any of the disc based games, they will have wrapped, like shrink wrap. This one, it looked like someone had tore their way into it, and I asked one of the employees, I said, you know, do you mind taking a look to see if the game is actually in there, because it looks like maybe someone tried to run off with it. And I was thinking, she's going to think that I'm the one that's running off with it. She rips open the plastic, opens it up, pulls the disc out, and she goes, it's fine, see? And it's like, well, I wasn't asking about the quality, I just wanted to make sure the disc was in there. They love their job. <laughs> so, it was, and so I got it. Yeah, especially on sale weekends, they're all super excited to be there, and just to see all the customers spending all the time, all the weekend, <laughs> with no price gouging. 
Where am I going with this? I don't know. The point is that they did not seem to be enjoying the time that they were having there while we had a fun time. I don't know what their problem we was. We totally did. Yeah. And for that buy two, get one free, I went ahead and picked up Medieval Resurrection for the PSP. Because who does not love a little uh, action platforming with good old Sir Dan Fortescue? Anyone that's playing on a PSP, that's who doesn't like it. <laughs> uh, no. Now, you didn't play a whole lot of PS1 games, did you? I played a decent amount. I played a the demo disc of Medieval that came out with the Pizza Hut selections. Nice. Now, if you don't know about the Pizza Hut demo disc, I'm sure you can find it on the internet. You've got to be old like us. Get ready to test your kart racing skills with Crash Bandicoot. Find an a bar to save the human race. Adventure along with a young military cadet. Grind asphalt as Tony Hawker plays down a mountain on your fat snowboard. And don't stop there. Head back to Pizza Hut and buy another stuffed crust pizza. You'll get another demo disc of more of the best PlayStation games, including Gran Turismo 2, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, Tomb Raider 4, Sledgestorm, and the next Tetris. Yeah. But I have played just a demo of the original medieval game. They're it's, a lot of fun. It's really pretty, though. I mean, like, even yeah. the inside cover here, they've... They have uh, made it all decorative on the inside there. Who doesn't want to run around as a skeleton? So, uh, other than the big ticket items at the very end, you found a couple of things? I did. I found some Funko Pops. I found Evie and Jacob, the little fry twins. And they, I really enjoyed this game. It was really fun to see kind of a more, found like a more modern assassins kind of. Even though it's still, you know, 1800s or whatever, there it was a really pretty game. It was fun to play as a female assassin and mm -hmm. bounce back and forth. So I was really excited to to find the Funkos of these guys, and they're very highly detailed. She's even got like the laced pattern on her hood. And Tom's favorite part, the freckles. It's got oh, her freckles. Man. He's She's a, ridiculously yes, cute. Yes, she is. And I, this was actually my favorite weapon from all of the Assassin's games. Is the sword cane. The sword cane, because that is pretty cool. So yeah. My favorite thing about Jacob is whenever you're driving a carriage around and he says, Who's a good horse? You, you are. are. Who's a good horse? You are. <laughs> and again, Peter elected to get nothing. But we did pick up something from my daughter. If you look closely, there's a picture. Either here or over the whole screen. <laughs> Future Tom, you figure that out. But uh, we got a little backpack for my daughter, which was actually a Nintendo DS uh, carrying case. But it was so perfect for her size. It does, and she now uses it for her sippy cup and snack cup when we go places. <laughs> she so. was adorable walking around the store with it, because she just found it. Like, I don't even think no. you saw it first. No, yeah, she and found it. And she started it. putting, like, little stuffed animals in it and put it on her back and walk around. And then I guess she'd get tired of that one, take that one out, put another stuffed animal in. So it was like, dude, we've got to get this for her. It's adorable. And we made sure that uh, she did not smuggle yes. any stuffed yes. animals yes. out. Yes, <laughs> we did open it up and make sure there was nothing inside of it. <laughs> The hunt, it continues. Let's go! Alright, so stop number three was... The big one! The huge, massive vintage stock. Actually, did we oversell that one to you? No, this thing is huge! It's literally like a JCPenney and a Sears had a baby, and it was retro and ginormous. Nope. Yeah, I mean the size-wise. Because you know how big JCPenney is in Sears. You go to the mall, right? All I can picture is that Family Guy episode where there's a picture of Lois, and she just had birth, she just gave birth to Chris. And she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Give us an island gamer sound. I forgot you play the chords. No. Nope. I don't think this is tuned right. No, it's not. It's okay. It was huge! Why are we pausing? Because <laughs> it was so big, the magnitude of this vintage stock was beyond comprehension from a digital perspective. You have to physically go in there and see it.
Okay, what games did you get? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did pick up a couple of retro ones. Um, I got Beanie Bopper, because how can you resist an Atari 2600 game with that title? And I picked up this one just because it's weird. Revenge of the Beef Steak and Tomatoes. And that is a, um, a bull tomato. So I don't... I've never heard of this. I don't know if it is supposed to be a uh, <laughs> knockoff of Killer Tomatoes. And some of the bulls have wings. Now, it does have a notch taken out of the side. Uh, of course, that is just a plastic that should not affect the game. We got hungry at all. before we made it to the food court. And then, keeping that retroness alive, I did get one in television game, uh, Hover Force. And the only reason I picked this one up was because, again, looking at uh, Video Game Price Charter, it had it listed at a much higher price than what they had it at. I think I got this one for like four, four or five bucks, and Price Charter was showing at like fifteen. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take that chance. Yeah. So that was the, uh, the little retro trio. And then I kind of feel like I sniped this one out of his hands because he saw the cart only for the same price for Mission Impossible. Uh, yeah, it was kind of weird that they had <laughs> the box and the game, no manual, for six ninety nine, and then they had just the cartridge for six ninety nine. It's like, why? So it does have the tray, but yes, no. So no, uh, thirty two hundred. Yeah, 32 no, 32X. X. <laughs> Not this time. No. Yeah, they, uh, they didn't give me the wrong tray and booklet. But, yeah, everything but the manual. And the box, it's not ripped. It's not squished. It doesn't look like, you know, your, chewed on. your aunt or uncle sat on it or something. Those are mean uncles and aunts. They, they really are. Let you had weird you. aunts and uncles. None of mine sat on my games. Uh, I did go ahead and pick up a PS2 game, which is called Heavenly Guardian. And I kept going back and forth between this one, trying to decide if I wanted to get it or not. I kept looking at the artwork on it. I was pulling up videos of the gameplay. It looked like it was uh, kind of a spiritual successor to, I believe, Pocky and Rocky. And because mm, that was, I love the Pocky. Because that was the <laughs> case. Strawberry flavor is my favorite. <laughs> since that was the case, I figured uh, it would be a good buy. They look like Muppets on the cover. Look at them. Do they not look like Muppets? I could see that. It kind of looks like uh, <laughs> Labyrinth characters, maybe, a little bit. <laughs> like, especially this one. This looks like a Muppet. Like a... See, when I look at it, I see uh, cheap knockoffs of Dragon Quest monsters. Oh. And then I went ahead and picked up one more PS2 game. I needed a third. And Peter was actually the one who said, yeah, you should totally go and for that. And why was that, <laughs> wait, wait. Peter? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, let's, let's reveal so, it first. So we have Rumble Roses. And if anybody is not familiar with this... Oh, female wrestling! Yeah. So female it is, wrestling! Uh, it is nothing but <laughs> gratuitous, skimpy Why did you want him to jump on this, Peter? Mechanics. I didn't tell him to jump on anything. <laughs> look at my hands, so, Lois. Look at my hands. <laughs> so the story is, I kept looking at this, and it's one of those ridiculous games that it feels like it would be a good party game. You know, you get everyone over... And you oh have a lot of fun. Oh my gosh! I didn't even see the manual. <laughs> so, oh my gosh! You get everybody together. You have a lot of fun just playing a ridiculous <laughs> game. And when I when I brought that up to her and I said that's why I was getting it, she looks at Peter and she says, "Would you play this?" And he goes, "Yeah, totally." And then I said, "What about in front of your wife?" And then what'd you say? I don't know, maybe. He said, why you gotta bring my wife into this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you wanted to play at a GameStop, but you refused I did. to check it out. Yeah, when, okay, oh, that's right. So, when I worked at GameStop, you can check out video games. And when this game came out, I was like 16, 17, so I thought this would be a fun game to play. Oh, yeah, fun game to play. But I didn't sure. want to check it out door <laughs> because everyone can see what games you're checking out in the log. And I didn't want anyone to be like, Hey man, I uh, saw you checked out Rumble Roses for the weekend. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend? What about the uh, clip with Quagmire when he turned sideways with his hand? His arm? <laughs> I think I gotta go back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, those were my game pickups. But uh, real quick on the subject of games, Peter actually picked some stuff up. Finally, I know, right? right? Oh, wow. Cheap over here. <laughs> Super cheap skate. So, 
I did pick up three games because that's the deal. And we'll start with most recent and we'll go back in time. So the first one I got was uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X, available only for Xbox. This is a V, I know. This is X. Let it be. Just do the Deadpool. 2X! Or Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Anyways, no, they did. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X, if you're not familiar, is actually Tony Hawk 1 and 2, available with Tony Hawk 2 graphics for the Xbox and gameplay. But you have to play through the, the career mode of Tony Hawk 2 and then the career mode of Tony Hawk's 2X, and which is like four, three or four extra levels, and then you can unlock the original Tony Hawk games, which is really not nice. I, <laughs> I don't like the 2X levels. They don't make any sense compared to the other levels, <laughs> and I'm still working on them, okay? So you don't like that they make it you seems work like a for it. Yeah, quit making me work for it. I just want to play the original games and be well, able to... I want to do a manual all the way across Minneapolis. I mean, it's not that hard, guys. Okay. Well, I did not know that uh, this game came with the original games. It does, That's yeah. That's very cool. We did not know it also came with some um, uh, therapy time. So therapy time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I stick with uh, Extreme Sports and I'm for Nintendo 64, and I got Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. Now, if you don't know much about this game, it is the uh, rival. Extreme. Yeah. Extreme! Extreme. <laughs> uh, it is the rival for 1080 snowboarding. They came out about the same time, and they're both snowboarding games for 64. They both have racing elements and trick elements. I chose this one because it was $2 less than 1080. That's basically it. Like they said, I'm a cheapskate. Look at this guy. He's all sports over here. I'm a sports! Speaking of which... <laughs> I got one more sports game. Oh, of course. Super <laughs> Nintendo, Super Tennis. Uh, this game I got mainly for nostalgia purposes. Do they sound like the female tennis players do in the game? I like mean, Anna Kornikova. <laughs> yeah, there is some grunts, uh, but the gameplay. I played it when I got it home, and it's not as good as I thought it was. Oh, that always. Sucks. But it is better when you play with two players. This is a sit on the couch and yell at your brother type of game, for sure. <laughs> Nice. Which I did a lot of when we first had it as that kids. So, funny. also the cool thing about this is the it's the first release of it, as you can see from this version of the cartridge that has the line and not the open. Okay, that's the end of it for me. <laughs> well, not to be left out. I got some things, and my obsession with Angela continues. And I got what was this one? The um, uh, cosmic. Angela action figure from Spawn. She's uh, very interesting. I haven't opened her yet, but she does have re real doll hair, so that's kind of neat. So I thought she was kind of fun. And then I got something else that I almost didn't get just because she was a special version of Angela, but he convinced me to get it because it actually comes with a... You can't <laughs> see me anymore! <laughs> but it comes with a VHS. But it's um, the Spawn, I don't know how to talk to you people, uh, it's the original Spawn Angela action figure, but she's like a special edition blue, crystal clear blue version of her, which I'm not a fan of those, um, like alternate skins, but since it came with a VHS, thought it might be fun. <laughs> so. For Spawn the Animated Series, no less. And all the used toys are 33% off, so I didn't mind popping on that. But yeah, this thing is huge. Yeah, put someone's eyes. There's a lot, a lot of packaging. <laughs> There's for, a lot of packaging. The doll, the action figure is like maybe a quarter of the I height. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last toy that I got was um, a little Frogger toy, and it's funny because it's like they're mystery packs, but there's only one Frogger toy available. As it shows you on the back, so gee, I wonder which toy I'm gonna get. <laughs> but anyway, I got oh some. Oh <laughs> But uh, he's cute. He's got his little tie and his his little suit or briefcase, so he's gonna go work and get smushed. If I push his back, will he jump? No, he's not that kind. Of... Nope, he just <laughs> slides away. Runs away. <laughs> and I, you know, I love these little mystery vinyl uh, figures. The you know the whole box looks like an arcade, and you've got a bunch of different things on the back you can get so now the weird thing is real quick on the back so you have all of these arcade characters and then you have Mega Man yeah that's kind of weird I don't so know why I they always put him in there weird. no way so what is 
a substance. It's called liquid nitrogen. Well, no, I know that part, the, that bit. Oh, this? Yeah. It's a Korean cracker that we infuse with the liquid nitrogen. It's more or less kind of like your breakfast cereal. Oh, okay. Except it's imported directly from Korea. And although it has more or less kind of a flavor of cap and crust berries, I mean, it's not quite as sweet, but it, and it also has more of a texture of a cheese ball. Okay. <laughs> but wait, there's more! There's more! In our efforts to take Peter to some shady spots... Gameco! Ah, no, they're not so bad. I don't think any of us were impressed with their prices. It was kind of a letdown. They weren't having any sales either. No. And we had been before, you and I, mm -hmm. and they always had fair prices before, but this time, all the prices were like above market value. Yes. And without any sale going on, it's like, all right, no, just forget it. The hunt would be complete without a customary stab to Goodwill. We did stop at the Goodwill. You saw some games that I'm surprised you didn't pick up, considering. Well, yeah, but these games have had nostalgic <laughs> sentiment for me, and Madden 06 and NCAA 06 and NHL 06 don't have any meaning for me, so I was like, whatever, I already have NHL 2015. It's much, it's, it's nine years better. So you're not <laughs> Math quite, is hard. You're not quite to the collecting standpoint where you just get anything. Not yet, Not no. Yet. That's so, alright. You're our nice little Padawan. We'll 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 get you there. Alright. I believe we are calling it a day for game hunting in Joplin, driving over a bridge. And uh, Oh look at that. Peter's not tuckered out after all. So So uh Peter, this is your first time to the Joplin vintage stocks. What'd you think of that little one? The little one was just like the ones we have in Springfield, so it had stuff. It's good. And the big one? It was enormous. I only probably looked at it maybe an eighth of it, really, to be honest. Because I can stick with the retro cartridges mostly, but there was so much I didn't cover. It's pretty cool. What about you? I know that you love the big vintage stock. I do. I find lots of good toys and comic books. She found too much stuff. I did. And then uh, Game World was, or Game Co was kind of a flop. They were pricey. They were pricey. Uh, the last time we had been in there, a lot of the prices were a lot more fair than what they were this time. I understand that they have overhead and all of that stuff, but uh, yeah, some of those prices were a little harder to swallow. I don't think Peter was happy with that one at all. No. I, I mean, there were some that I was like, oh, that's, that's okay, but it's not really a game I'm looking for right now. But then the ones that I was kind of looking for were way overpriced for me, at least for me. Now, an interesting note, they had a uh, copy of Spyro that had, like, a printed-off cover. Right. So, what's your stance on that with, like, stores selling games that they've made their own covers? Well, I used to work at GameStop, so we did that all the time. <laughs> but, but you as a collector. But me as a collector, I prefer not to have 
the printed, the store printed version. I would like the original artwork, or at least a well done reproduction if possible. <laughs> it was not well done. No. And uh, Goodwill was kind of a flop. There were some fun toys just to play with while we were in there, but that was about it. But there was Madden 06, NCAA 06, and NHL 06, and Tiger Woods 05, <laughs> and, and there Doom. was one other one. And Doom. Doom, but it was missing a disc. I'm sorry, missing a disc. He's lying. There weren't that many games in there. No, there was. He walked away. I found three more. <laughs> well, there were sports titles. <laughs> All right. Now for the long drive home. That's my pee cup. Now, once we got back in town, um, sadly, Peter had to go his own way. Yeah, because his wife was hungry or something and wanted her to take him out. <laughs> wanted him to take her out to dinner for some weird reason. And honestly, we <laughs> were exhausted anyway, so yes. we went home and went to bed. Like, I don't think we even looked at our stuff. But no. the next day, <laughs> we did manage to swing by the last vintage stock. Just yes. the two of us. Yeah. But we got some stuff. Yes. So... Even Peter gets to see what we. Yeah, I haven't up. seen this. Yeah, it'll be like a tote surprise. So I got a uh, a box copy of Wheel of Fortune for Sega Genesis. Wheel and look at that! I haven't even pulled Fortune. their haven't even pulled their shrink wrap off. We don't even know if it's complete. Go for it. Alrighty, let's see. <gasps> oh, oh, it's look complete. At us. <laughs> Boom. Chakalaka. And then I picked up. Golden Nugget. Now, the funny thing is, I needed one more game. I got six in total, but I needed one more to have those six. And the only reason I picked this game up was because it was cheap and because on the back, it tells how you have live action video from Adam West. Yes. And who doesn't <laughs> want to go to Las Vegas with Adam West? Oh my gosh. And you've been to the Golden Nugget now. So you it's, can see how authentic it is. I did not see Adam West there, which was a shame. I know. That's for you, Future Tom. <laughs> Put that pow in. And I picked up one more PS1 game, Warriors of Might and Magic. And uh, I have no idea anything about this game. Um, I remember the Might and Magic games. They always seemed more like first-person RPGs. I'm not sure if this follows in that vein. But there does seem to be a fairly dominatrix-looking girl on the back. So... This game's probably going to punish me one way or the other. And on the inside... Whoa, there was a security tab! <laughs> it's all there! And in case you want to know what the little dominatrix looks like... There she Check is. out the closer-upper! And then the last three games... These were a little pricier than I like to pay for sports games. But since they were Sega Master System games, we've got great basketball, great golf, and great soccer. Great, great, great. They're not okay. <laughs> so, that was my game pickup from the fourth vintage yeah. stock. Bye, bye, Frogger. And you did not pick up any toys this time. I did not pick up any toys this time because I was still tired from the day before. I had a comic goal in mind so um and our vintage stock well i shouldn't say ours we have two of them the one we went to their toy selection has gone down very slim the last one yeah it's a shame so. they've moved into a much smaller location yeah. and it really feels scaled back but we do still like to check when there's a sale yeah. just in case now uh so this brings us to our final pickup from all of the uh -huh. vintage stocks um, and we're not going to go through all of them. You're welcome. Yeah. You and were you'll on, see why. You were on a... You, you had this a goal time, in mind. Normally, you like, oh, I always go for, like, Deadpool and um, the, the Grimm's Fairy Tales and just kind of Aquaman-y, all that. But this time, I was very much in a um, Spider-Gwen phase. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I did. Oh wait, wait! Here's the best part. Bigger than my now, head. Now I bought some comics too. There's my stack. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's oh, buy oh, one get one free. Wait, wait! I also did. 
not buy any comics. Because you're not There's crazy. my stack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, I was very... I did pick up some Deadpool, but I mostly this time went after... I was specifically looking for Spider-Gwen, um, whether it was Spider-Man with Spider-Gwen in it before she got her own series or her in her own series. And um, it was funny because I actually found some Deadpool Spider-Man crossovers. <laughs> and I did find a couple uh, Grimm's fairy tales. So we're not going to show all of them, like I said. No. But you did pick out a couple that you did I want did, to show I off. Did. And the first one is a Deadpool one. I just thought this cover was kind of neat because he's all pixelated and um, video gamey. So I just thought that one was kind of fun. And then the next one that I picked up, it was a series. I didn't get the... Um, Oh yeah, I did. I get. I did get all three series, but these were kind of interesting because it's like old man Deadpool and Spider Man in a wheelchair. So I was oh, very gosh. interested in where this story originated from. So I was like, "What?" So yeah, that's why I wanted to show that one off. I thought that would be kind of fun. And then of course my Spider Gwen being all samurai shogun. <laughs> And then my love of uh, Angela, I managed to get her very first comic when she went to Marvel from Spawn. Uh, this is the very first appearance of Angela. Nice. And, yes. And then this one was kind of fun. It was a Spider-Man, Deadpool, uh, and Nightcrawler combination. You don't see Nightcrawler no. getting into the mix He much. also doesn't look very excited to be with him either. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? So, and then this one I just had to show off because it's like, dude... I'm getting tired of seeing this upside down kiss. It's like literally everywhere. When I was flipping through the Spider-Man stuff, I saw pretty much every iteration of Spider-Man, whether it was Miles Morales or Spider-Man 2099 or, you know, Spike Spider-Man. Um, every single one of them was doing some kind of upside down kiss. And here we've got Mor Miles Morales and Spider-Girl, Spider-Gwen, doing it. Upside down. Kissing. Kissing upside kissing down. Upside kissing down. upside doing down. Doing the kiss upside down. And this Ooh. one intrigued me. Because it's like, what? They get married? They're wearing wedding dresses. And we didn't even get an invite. I know. And then, of course, I haven't read any of the comics, but I have, when I, uh, I have fallen kind of in love with the look of Peter Porker. He's just, <laughs> Spider Pig looks hilarious. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's just, I love the fact that his little piggy nose like the the breathing nostrils are Spider-Man eyes, so it makes the Spider-Man face on his nose, and it's just it's adorable. And he's like short and chubby and piggy, and he's just so cute. And he's kind of he's kind of smart alecky because I did get to when I was I read a, a small series that he was in with all the other Spider people in the edge of the Spider Verse, and he was in it. That's where I met him, and uh, he's kind of snarky. Is he a ham? He's a ham. Oh my ah. god. <laughs> Well, those were the comics I wanted to show off, but I got a lot more. So, uh, I just got some random stuff, some Army of Darkness, and then uh, some X-Men to fill in some missing numbers, stuff like that. A few that I did want to show off were uh, anytime I can find Army of Darkness and Xena crossover, of course I'm going to go for that, because that's Ooh, so great. Ooh, do I get to color mine? Now, did you ever watch, and no, uh, you do not. Oh. Did you ever watch Xena? Of course I watched Xena. Hercules, <laughs> Hercules and Xena were on at the same time. So you are familiar with a, the Bruce character, char Bruce Campbell character, Autolycus. Yes, I am. And you know Bruce Campbell also played Ash. Yes. So that's what makes things so much fun. <laughs> and then the last one that I picked up, and this just more because it looked really cool, was X-Men Fairy Tales. I just really like the cover. It does look they look neat. really it looks like neat. a lot of fun. So, yeah. I haven't seen the cover, so I was really excited to see it just now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we went a little crazy because it was sales. But it was buy one, get one free. And it's not just for one comic store. That's four vintage stocks combined. I like how that makes it okay. It does make it okay because you didn't have to carry all of that at once. Remember, as long as you are putting it in an organized fashion in your home, you are not a hoarder. You are a collector. Exactly. And I will eventually get to all those. Well, I do want to say, <laughs> Peter, thank you so much for coming along with us for some game hunting and obviously comic pickups. Honestly, I just more enjoyed the company than anything. Aww. We just, Aww. We just Aww. like the heck company. We don't care if you come along with us and buy anything. Justin. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for driving, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys, if you want to leave a comment about anything down here, there's plenty of stuff to comment on, whether it's toys, comics, video yes. games, Peter's new glasses. Please leave a comment about Peter's new glasses. This frog is looking at me weird. Uh, please do so. <laughs> leave a like if you like the video. Consider subscribing if you have not already. I'm going to let Peter take this part because he loves to talk about... Touch the bell! Touch it! Click on it! That's what I should say. Click the bell! <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We always like to throw up our closer upper pictures, uh, let you know what we're doing out and about and around town, what things we're hitting up, and if YouTube does not let you know that a video has dropped on those medias, we always let you know that they have dropped. But if you click the bell, it'll let you know. But if it doesn't, you can follow us on those things. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nerdlings, we'll see you next time. Bye, nerdlings. See you guys. I got me Evie and <laughs> and shit. <laughs> and shit. <laughs> that would be Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Are we doing the lodging to stock next? Are we doing yeah. chronological? Yes. <laughs> yes. Chronological. This my yawn was so big. It was a big yawn. I've been awake for a long time today, guys. By the way, nice job. I think that's the first time you ever got Boom! that without. <laughs> Boom! Okay, okay. Oh, right. ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> Tober! What is that? I know, I was very proud of myself. That's why I was just like, yeah! I feeled it! <laughs> uh, nice.